USC 305 students use career cruising to identify which of the 16 clusters best match their interests. The 16 career clusters organize academic and occupational knowledge and skills into courses and identify pathways from secondary schools to two to four year colleges, graduate schools, and the workplace. Students learn in school about what they can do in the future. Hi, I'm Shelly Dinkle and I am the journalism teacher here at Science Central. I teach AV Production Fundamentals, which is the intro video class, and we will be having the AV Productions, which is the advanced video class. I also teach um, digital media production, which is yearbooks. So, um, we have a multitude of awesome classrooms here at Central. We have a, broad, a brand new broadcast studio that we got with the wand issue, um, and we take journalism pretty seriously here. And so. We let our kids go compete at national competitions and competitions as well as um, in our state. And um, we get to work on these fancy dancy MacBooks and so it's pretty awesome. Um, you get to learn about different Adobe products, you get to um, go interview, you get to work with sweet cameras and learn at different editing techniques and things of that nature. So if you're interested in anything like that, photos, videos, interviewing, story writing, anything like that, you should definitely look into taking some journalism classes here. All right, I'm J.D. Garber. I teach uh, graphic design, digital, newspaper, and 21st century journalism. Uh, those are very different classes, but they all kind of focus on like kind of a fine arts side of digital media, and it fits into the digital media pathway. Um, and so I really hope that like a lot of kids want to take my class because it like puts them into something unique and um, something that I really enjoy. So that could be photography or like writing, design, but it's also storytelling, so that's one of the things that I really enjoy. A lot of the students will really get into it because they like the, the cameras they get to use or they like the software they get to use, and then I would hope that down the road they would take that stuff and use it in whatever they can do, um, whatever industry they go into, whether it's in a digital media job or a web job or something like that, or a journalism job or something else, just in marketing or communication. My name is Michael Hare. I teach uh, drafting. We teach, I teach engineering and architecture pathways here. Um, kids that should take this class are uh, students that are interested in like, being an engineer someday or maybe working in construction. Um, similar with architecture, if you want to be an architect or you want to work in construction, any of those type of fields where you're hands on, these are great classes for you. Um, my favorite part of the year is the end of the year when we do the tech fair. Uh, that we just showcase all the student projects, all their house projects and engineering projects that they do throughout the year. I teach cabinet making one, two, and three. Um, my class is a, is a different class. You'll get to learn a lifelong skill that you're going to carry on forever. Um, things that are exciting about this class or, or is it's not like a typical class, like your, like your core classes, you get up, you get to moving, you get to hands-on learning. Um, just really nice stuff that you get to make, hands-on. Hands Hi, my name is Josh Lewis. I'm the new welding instructor here at Central, and I teach welding classes. Um, hoping the kids learn a little bit about a career pathway in welding. Um, mostly just teaching the introductory stuff, the kind of the basics. Um, hopefully to see if they kind of take an interest um, in something that they'd like to do, maybe post high school. I think the most exciting thing about teaching these classes is uh, getting those kids that are really interested and really enjoy it, um, maybe when they learn something new and you can kind of see that light go off, um, like, hey, now we're getting it. Um, and I hope kids continue to take this class uh, just to see if they're interested in it. It's a good career pathway. Um, it's challenging but rewarding. Um, and that's really it about welding classes.
I'm Miss Train and I teach the Health Science Pathway. I teach Medical Investigations 1, Medical Investigations 2, and Medical Intern Rotation. Um, medical Investigations 1 is um, really kind of a overview of topics like medical ethics, um, the different pathways in health science, um, different careers, just kind of get a basic feel, employment skills, um, infection control, things like that. Med 2 is um, we get much more hands-on. We do vital signs. Um, we do some, we stitch bananas. Um, we do much more hands-on. We also take a field trip to the cadaver lab at Cloud County Community College, um, which is usually a make or break experience for students. Um, we also go to the vet school at K-State Manhattan um, so we kind of cover a wide variety of careers in healthcare. Um, <clears throat> we also do some pharmacy um, activities in Med 2. And then medical internship is where the students um, go out and job shadow in three different um, areas of healthcare that they're interested in. We try to place them in their top three. Um, you have to pass Med 1 to take Med 2, and you have to pass Med 2 to be able to be in the intern. You also have to take um, Anatomy and Physiology to be in the intern program as well. And the Health Science Pathway is just for students who think they might be interested in some area of medicine in the future, um, whether it's you know a CNA or a pharmacist or a dentist or a counselor, just really A to Z in healthcare. Hi, I'm Mrs. Putman and I teach nutrition and wellness. Um, the class really um, is obviously related to nutrition and how nutrients um, affect our lives and also we talk about wellness, um, mental, emotional health, social health, um, but we really go into it in depth um, over nutrition. So I think that um, you should enroll in the class, especially if you're interested in anything in the medical field um, and then um, as athletes too, um, it really pertains to um, them as well. I'm Mrs. Jones and I teach um, a variety of different classes. I teach graphic design 2D, um, I teach marketing, I teach entrepreneurship, I also do the internship program for seniors um, that are out in the community at whatever internship that they're interested in pursuing when they get out of high school. Um, I also teach on-the-job training which is where students um, get credit for having a job out in the community and this is typically seniors as well um, both internship and OJT has to be a senior student um, and some different projects that we do in a variety of those classes um, graphic design 2d right now is working on a bus wrap project um, here's an example of that um, we're getting activity buses for um, the school district and both South and Central are getting them and so the students are working right now on designing their activity buses. Um, and the goal is that it has to be designed so that it can be used for both Central and South high school students um, for the activities that they go to. Over there are some boards that um, we do for the Youth Entrepreneurship Challenge which is YAC and students in those classes, that would be my marketing and entrepreneurship classes, they basically design their own business um, and in that they end up creating an executive summary, they create a display board to be shown at their trade show booth, which is what those are. Um, they also end up having a four minute presentation and having an elevator pitch where they present it to a panel of judges. Um, back on the back wall are some of our past winners for YEC. Students that win that competition actually get um, monetary prizes. So first place, for example, is $500. 
Um, second place is 350 and third place is 250. Hi, I'm Miss Bradshaw and I teach Business Essentials, Accounting, and Webpage this semester. Um, and basically what those classes look like is for Business Essentials, it's an overview of basically the different areas of business. So we talk about marketing, we talk about advertising, we talk about finances, we talk about accounting. Um, so it's a really good class to take if you're interested in business. Um, we talk about management, just different areas that can really kind of make you more marketable as um, a student when you start looking for jobs or maybe what you want to do after high school. And then with accounting, I have an accounting class that's a year long um, and it really dives into um, the basics of accounting and what accountants do. And then my third class, web page design, um, we focus on using a coding language called HTML. It's like one of the most popular coding languages. And we create web pages. Um, we use a couple different softwares to do that. Um, we create web pages about your own, you get to create your own company. Um, we do one about for Thanksgiving, like what you're thankful for. So we just kind of try to tie in some good, fun little projects into our curriculum for the business department.